Hi, Michael Hellickson here with Club Wealth, and we're talking today about building your business by referral. So let's talk about this. 60% of most agents' business comes from referrals. So this is a really important part of your business. And here are some of the things, not all, but here are some of the things that you can do to grow that part of your business. We've got calls, we've got notes, we've got pop buys, we've got client events, one of my personal favorites. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. We've got uh, evidence of success postcards. That would be like just listed, just sold postcards that you would send out. Uh, we've got thank you gifts, we've got social media, we've got your newsletter. There's all kinds of different ways that you can grow your business by referral. Here's what you need to know. Whatever you do, you need to make it consistent. It's a great to have, kind of like with other things we've talked about, a land, air, and sea approach. You want to hit them in all kinds of different ways over a long period of time, consistently over that period of time, and your referral business will naturally grow. So let's talk real quick about client events as an example. Client events are a fantastic use of your time, effort, and energy, and money. I had a client call me up the other day. He says, Michael, uh, I've been focused on my REO business so much that I haven't even called my past clients in over six years. So the first thing I told him to do was, let's do a client event. We did one, and, we had, and literally the, day he, the first day he started following our client event checklist, he literally got a listing and a sale that day. He ended up with 125 people that came to his client event. This was on Labor Day weekend, by the way. Terrible day to hold a client event, but he got 125 people to show up. And let me tell you, he's going to be getting referrals from that for a long time. And when you do your client events, there's a checklist you want to follow that will give you 14 points of contact with each and every client event you hold. Each of these things is a system in and of itself. Even writing personal notes is a system in and of itself. You want to use blue ink, broad tip pen, three to five lines. Uh, don't make it a book, make it simple. Use a unique close. Always put the date, time, and location that you wrote the note in the upper right hand corner. And believe it or not, it works. I don't know why, it all works. There's a system for everything, just follow it. All right. Uh, when you receive a referral, what do you do? When someone actually sends you a referral, oh my golly, what do I do now? Well, first of all, call the person that sent you the referral and say thank you. This is massive. Most people, when they get a referral, they don't even bother calling the person that referred them. What the heck are you thinking? You need to thank that person. Also, you should be sending a personal note card to that person with a gift certificate inside. Or, go a step further, what we used to do was we used a service called Cookies by Design back in the day, and we would send them a basket of gourmet cookies. They were all decorated, just really nice cookies. They had some, you know, all kinds of different arrangements you could get. And we would send these out as our way of saying thank you for the referral. So we were re re rewarding the act of sending the referral, not necessarily whether or not it closed. That being said, then I also want to put them in my newsletter. So I have a friends referring friends section to my newsletter, and I want to make sure that I give credit to the person that referred them and credit to the person that was referred in my newsletter. Obviously, I want to call the referral. I want to add the referred person to my client appreciation program as well, so they get to take part in all of this stuff as well. Very, very important. You got to take care of both the referring person and the person that was referred. You know, you want to do special things like when somebody when somebody buys a home from you, don't send a big expensive uh, housewarming basket. Do something cool. Do something like pizza on moving day, or send you know host a barbecue for them and all their friends. You know, provide ma return address mailing labels for them so that they can send those out. You know, change of address labels so they can send those out to not only the people that uh, they know, but they can use it for changing their utilities or the other uh, people that they uh, pay bills to. So. Think about things like that. One of the most important things about building your business by referral that you have to have in place, you have to have a great CRM because you've got to be able to keep track of these folks. You've got to know who's in your database. You've got to build, sort, and qualify that database. So every day you want to be adding at least five or ten people to your database. And that can be from all kinds of different lead sources. You want to sort them, whether they're buyers or sellers, how soon they're going to be buying, 30, 60, 90 days plus, whatever. You also need to qualify them. And what that means is I've got an A, a B, a C, a D, and an A plus client. An A client is someone who has done business with me or sent me a referral. A B client is somebody who would probably do business with me or probably send me a referral if I showed them how. A C client is everybody that comes into my database goes in as a C client. 
a D client is a knucklehead that I don't ever want to do business with again, but I don't ever want to delete them out of my database because they might sneak back in and I need to know they're a knucklehead. So I mark them as a D. Now I know, don't do business with that person again. Then there's the A pluses. The A pluses are the people that have done transactions with me or sent me a referral uh, and done a transaction. Uh, so they've either done multiple transactions, multiple referrals, or a referral and a transaction. Now they're an A+. Those are the people I'm going to spend the most time, effort, energy, and money on. And those are the people that are most likely to reward me with referrals. When you give to a giver, they give back. So give to those givers as much as you possibly can and avoid the rest. Because when you give to a taker, what happens? They suck. They're no fun. So stay away from the takers. All right. When you've A, B, C'd your database, you also know how, f how often you need to follow up with people. Without getting into a terrible lot of detail there, uh, understand that you want to spend more time following up with the A's than you do the, the, a, the, or the a pluses than you do with the A's, more with the A's than the B's, more with the B's than the C's. Goes without saying. All right, what's a great database to use for that? Top Producer, absolutely phenomenal resource. Uh, go to www.topproducerdeal.com. Again, that's topproducerdeal.com, and that'll get you the best pricing on Top Producer. And uh, I love it. I used it for 15 years. The last 15 years of my career, I used Top Producer, and uh, it was fantastic. And I grew from the Lone Ranger to a world-class team with over 44 people doing uh, listing and selling over 100 homes a month. So it's extremely scalable, uh, and it's just it's a great system for the money. You just can't beat it. So take a look at uh, Top Producer deal.com and uh, let us know how you feel about that. Now, our next video that we're going to be talking about, watch your email because it's coming in your email. We're going to be talking about achieving financial and time freedom by leveraging your world-class team. And if, even if you're the Lone Ranger right now, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to build that world-class team. Whether you have a team or not, tune in. You're going to want to see that video because there's something in it for everyone. Again, this is Michael Hellickson with Club Wealth. And remember, you are world-class.